Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony Thomas and in this episode of Tony Travels, we're going to be packing a suitcase, well actually a carry-on backpack, and one crossbody for 22 days in Europe. Now, this isn't going to be an easy thing to do because think about this, we are traveling to 10 countries in 22 days. We will be going as far north as the Netherlands and as far south as the south of France. And within that 22 days, I imagine we're going to see all kinds of weather. This is Europe after all. We're going to be riding in trains, in planes, in buses, and probably a few Uber rides. But for the most part, I'm trying to pack light because I'm going to carry this backpack suitcase on my shoulders and you know I'm not as young as I used to be so traveling light is super important so let's take a look at the backpack suitcase that I'm gonna be carrying and if you watch my my packing video for Belize you will know that this back this bag is really roomy it's lightweight it's got straps on the back so I can carry it on my back and it also has a handle to pull with wheels. This will be the bag that I hope holds up to 22 days of travel in Europe. I will also be carrying this crossbody purse. This bag is gonna be for, you know, my passport, my phone, things I need quick access to, my lip gloss or my chapstick, things I just, my earbuds, things I just wanna get to quickly. And the third bag I'm going to be carrying is this body hugging uh, slip on, you know, it, it fits around your waist. I'll probably wear this under my tops. And in this bag, I will probably carry my money, my cash, anything that I don't want out and about on my body. Now I have a fourth bag and I, I know it seems like a bag fest around here, but I'm gonna be carrying this really simple, lightweight string bag. I'm gonna put it in my suitcase because on the days we go maybe hiking the Matterhorn, or I think we're gonna go visit Nashvoinstein, I'll want a day bag, right? That's, I'll leave my suitcase backpack in the hotel, but I will be bringing this day bag with me. It's perfect, it's light, it weighs nothing. But if I wanna carry water, or if I wanna carry my camera or any of that stuff, I can put it right in here. So for quick access into my bag, if I'm on a train or if I'm on a plane or even if I'm in a bus, I wanna be able to reach into my bag and grab a bag that has maybe my tops in it, maybe my bottoms in it, maybe, you know, who knows? But I want to make it as easy as possible for me. So I am using these bags I ordered <clears throat> from Amazon. They're called Beyond and they're storage bags for inside your bag or inside your suitcase. There are five of them. In one of those bags, I have packed my lightweight pillow. Now this pillow is made out of memory foam, so I could roll it up really small. I'm going to need it on the plane ride over. I don't sleep well on planes, so one of these bags is going to be used for my pillow. Maybe I'll use it when I get to our destinations, but who knows. But the other four bags, I'm going to try to pack all of my clothing inside each one of those bags. Maybe in the small one, my under things, my swimsuit, because we are going to be in the south of France after all, and I'm going to need a swimsuit. Um, in the other one, it'll be my, my maybe dressier things. I have a bag for my tops and hopefully the bottoms that I'm bringing along will fit into this bag. So I will post a link to these bags and how to get them down below. They were very inexpensive and perfect for what I want to do. Now, what kind of clothing am I going to be taking and what am I going to wear on the plane ride over? Well, for me, I layer for any plane ride I'm going to take. So I will probably wear on the plane ride over my jacket. Okay. 
lightweight jacket, but my vest, my lightweight New Balance raincoat that you saw I used in Ireland, my jeans, my belt, a t-shirt of some sort, and my favorite boots, okay? So if you watch my travel to Ireland video, I take my boots. I wear my boots on the plane. I'm comfortable traveling in my boots. These boots are super lightweight. I'm gonna sh share with you how to get these boots down here. But if you haven't watched my 2023 five favorite shoes for traveling, these boots are in that video, so go watch it. But for now, let's talk about the clothing I'm gonna bring that I'm gonna pack in my suitcase. So to start, I'm gonna bring these, uh, this skort, lightweight skort. I'm gonna bring two lightweight shorts. One is linen, one is cotton. I love this pattern because I can wear it with many different colors. I'm gonna bring two pairs of black leggings. I love these black leggings. They're from Old Navy. They have pockets everywhere. They have zip pockets. I can slide my phone in if I need to. I'm gonna bring two pairs because I'm gonna be there for 22 days, right? Now, I'm not sure I'm gonna bring both of these, but I'm really considering it. This is, these are both from Columbia. This is a three quarter length, lightweight Columbia pant and a full length, lightweight Columbia pant. Now I can wear this pair with my boots if I go hiking or if it gets chilly up in uh, Amsterdam and Netherlands where we're gonna be, or I can wear this if it's like not too hot, not too cold, but they're both super lightweight, so I'll probably bring both of them. Yes, I am gonna bring a dress. This is so lightweight, it will take up no space in my in my bag, but we're going to Monaco, and I feel like if I'm gonna go to Monaco and I wanna go into some of the nicer places, I'm probably gonna need a nice dress, okay? I'm also carrying a swim soap because we are going to Nice and we're going to Monaco. We're going to the South of France. So this is my favorite little lightweight swimsuit that I can wear if we go to the beach one day. Okay, you guys are gonna laugh at me, but I bought this shirt in four colors. It is a ribbed t-shirt in putty, in black, in blue to match those pants I have from Columbia, and gray. By the way, except for the blue pair, I could probably wear any one of these t-shirts with those black leggings, oh, including the blue shirt, with the black leggings and the black and white pattern shorts. Okay, to make it even more simpler, I'm, wearing, I'm bringing three rib tank tops. Now, the reason I'm bringing three is because I've got the three colors that I love, black, gray, and white, and I can layer them with my rib t-shirts if I need to, or wear them alone. I'm not bringing any other tank tops. I'm bringing a really light pair of silk shorts to sleep in. And as I said before, I'm bringing my jacket, my favorite vest, and my outerwear jacket. Now, I probably won't need to wear that jacket, but who knows what's gonna happen when we land in London, we head over to Brussels, and then we head up to the Netherlands. And for those of you that know me, I never go anywhere without a scarf. I'll travel with this on the plane. And then I'll have a sweater. I always carry a sweater. When I'm in Monaco, I'm assuming we're gonna to go to someplace nice. So I'm gonna bring my dress, I'll have my sweater for the evenings because even in the warmest places, when I walk inside, I'm cold because the air conditioner is always on too high for me. Now we talked about a little bit about the shoes I'm wearing. Of course, I'm wearing my boots with me. Look at me doing my aerobics here today. I'm wearing my boots. I'm gonna take my black 
sketch or tennis shoes. They're the faux tie shoes, you just slip them on. They're really lightweight. But the shoe that I'm really bringing that I'm, I'm probably going to use the most will be these footbeds by White Mountain. They're really lightweight. They have a little bit of a heel. I like to have a heel. And they're really comfortable. They have a little bit of arch support. They have Velcro at the top, Velcro at the bottom. You know, your feet swell when you're traveling. These are the shoes I'm gonna live in. I'm assuming these are what I'm gonna wear the entire time I'm in Europe. How are we gonna get all of this into this backpack? Well, let's wait and see. So we've completed our packing. We are ready to travel to Europe. Are you as excited as I am? I hope you're traveling to Europe this year. I hope you get to explore the country and I wish you the best of luck on all your travels. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful and that you enjoy your travels through Europe. Be sure to subscribe and follow my 22 day journey through Europe.